Hello, my name is Frederik Steinmetz for BlenderDiplom.com and in this chapter I'd like to show you the Laplace Indiform modifier. The Laplace Indiform modifier allows you to turn very simple deformation into a sort of elegant pose. And if you know the hook modifier, if not just watch the part about the hook modifier, you can see that it does some not very useful deformations. You can see if I move around these empties, all I get is, you know, some stretch going and nothing good comes out of that. But if I add the Laplacian deform modifier, this kind of changes. The Laplacian deform modifier has only very few options. For example, the repeat, which basically determines the quality of how well this works. It will also increase computing time a little bit, but in an object like that, it's not noticeable. You can't press the bind button unless you have selected a vertex group to anchor your object. So let's do that. I'll add a new vertex group and I'll go into edit mode. And now I'll select every vertex that I don't want to be deformed, which would be those that are already being influenced by the hook modifier plus those on the bottom. And if I press assign, I can then tell the Laplacian modifier that I want these to be the anchor. And once I've done that, I can press bind. When I used this first, I thought, okay, I've added the Laplacian last, so I can just go ahead and press bind. But if I did that, let me show you what then what happens then. You can see it does some weird stuff, so we don't want that. Let's undo this. And without any deformation, I'll check bind. And now if I deform this, still something very weird happens. And I can't tell you why that is, but I know when it does happen. It happens when you don't have a big enough anchor. So if I include more of those and assign, you can see it's actually working quite well. But you can also see that there is sort of a threshold. And at some point, if I cross that threshold, you'll see that it does some very funky stuff, which unfortunately means it is not very well suited for animation. You can use it for posing, no problem. Actually it does some very nice and smooth mesh deform, but you cannot use it for animation or at least not very big animations because there is sort of a threshold. Some of you may already know this example. This is an IK chain, which means if I move this bone, the chain is trying to fill the distance between the start of the chain and the back of the chain by bending those bones. And just as the Laplace deform will guess which way to bend to make the least stress, it can happen that there is a threshold and once you cross that, it will jump to the other side. So this is basically why you can't do fancy deformation with the Laplacian deform modifier, because at some point you will run into that problem. Just a heads up. And actually there are some more limitations. Once you get over 100,000 vertices with that modifier, it won't work anymore. It will tell you there's no solution found. And also you cannot place a generate modifier. So any of these, you cannot place it on top of the modifier because apparently it has some troubles working with added vertices. And to show you, I'll just use a subdivision surface modifier, which underneath it is perfect for smoothing out your mesh. But if I move it on top of it, you can see it told us the vertex number has changed. And if I unbind and bind this again, then usually something very strange happens. Also, my computer seems to be getting pretty slow. So just keep that in mind. If you want to use that modifier, you cannot use it with any other generate modifier on top of it. And now we run into another problem. It has nothing to do with the Laplacian modifier. It has to do with the hook modifier because we can't really recenter this object. We can go into the options here and choose to reset or recenter, but I want the position of this empty to be exactly back 
at this little dot because this is where the hook got created and this is where the center of the vertices is that are actually being deformed by the hook. Now Gottfried has programmed something, a little script that you find on the article of this modifier on blenderdiplom.com and it's sort of a patch that allows you to press a button which will make the empty jump back to that point. But right now you need a patch for that and you can't really have it in the trunk so let me show you another workaround. I'm going to select this one. It's not really a workaround, let's just call this proper use of the hook modifier in order to use it with a Laplacian deform. And since I will alter the geometry, I'll just find it again later. So I don't have to move the modifier stack because quite frankly, uh, this bind part, which means there is not only the order of the modifiers is important, but also when and in which situation you press bind. So I don't want this to be in the stack and then move them around. I want this to be added last. So I'm absolutely sure I haven't done anything weird to, well, let's call it distract the modifier. I'll add an armature and just move this up here. And then I'll parent the candlestick to the object. I won't make this an armature deform. I just want it to be parented to the object and I want to keep the transformation. So if I move this around, of course, this one follows. Now with all those selected, I'll press Shift S, cursor to select it. Now go into the armature in edit mode, Shift A, and we'll create a bone right there. Do the same thing for this here. And one more time over here. Always press Shift A. Now we have four bones. This is basically the parent. I just like to have one parent bone. And these are the bones I want to actually use for hooks. Now if I select this bone and then shift select the candlestick, I can use all these vertices and press Ctrl H and instead of new object, I'll say hook to selected bone. Now this works exactly like one of the selected objects with the difference that this bone actually has a zero point. The zero point is inside the armature. So if I press Alt G, it will jump back exactly to its original position where it got created, which incidentally is exactly at this little gray point. I'll repeat that. And of course, you have to make sure that this bone is actually active once you shift click on the object that you want hooked. So now I can simply move those around of course, I have to press Alt G here. I can redo the Laplacian deform. I can set the repeats all the way up to 50 just to be on the safe side. I can bind this. And if I go out of edit mode, I can use the armature to move the whole thing. If I use this one, it will still stick to my bones as hooks. And you can also see the shortcomings once you have a too big of a deform and a too small of an anchor, you'll run into problems. So this is basically just, if you actually do want to use the hook modifier as a deform, I encourage you to use an armature because with that, Alt-G will reset everything. That's it about the Laplacian deform modifier. My name is Frederik Steinmetz for blenderdiplom.com.